There's a beautiful photo of Kip Thorne and Rainer Weiss, the two Nobel Prizes that were awarded for LIGO. They're standing next to the plaque that commemorates Robert Dickey at Frisk Campus Center, right? There was a big um, celebration of his work. Yeah. It's, it's this big tradition that sort of started at Princeton of like, let's take GR seriously. Yeah, yeah. Robert Dickey, he also was the discoverer of the cosmic microwave background. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, you know, the CMB, the yes. radiation from the Big Bang. Yes. He was one of these first sort of applying general relativity to cosmology mm. problems. And um, him and his student Wilkinson and Peebles published the paper right after the experimental discovery. They were actually planning to make a dish to observe the cosmic microwave background. And then, uh, meanwhile, un unbeknownst to them... Penzias and Wilson were neighboring in Bell Labs, which is right down the street from Princeton. They they were stuck with a microwave antenna. They're trying to do research with microwave antenna, and they keep getting this noise. Yep, yep. And they're like, what the hell is this noise? And they're trying to find where the noise is coming from. One of them actually, like, crawled in and started, like, scraping the pigeon poop that was in the antenna because they're like, I don't know, maybe it's the pigeon poop. And they're like scraping. They got rid of the pigeon poop. The pigeon, the, the noise was still there. And they're like, dude, what is this noise that we're getting? And they called up Robert Dickey and they're like, we're getting this noise. Like you guys are, you guys are physicists at Princeton. And Dickey's like, he hangs up the phone and he tells his collaborators, boys, I think we got scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Penzias and Wilson immediately recognize what it is. They immediately publish. Um, Dickey, Peebles, and Wilkinson published their paper on the CMB, the theoretical background, right after. It's like back to back. Penzias and Wilson go on to win the Nobel oh, Prize goodness. for the discovery. It really should have been a three person with Dickey. Um, but actually, you know, years later, I think in the last two or three years, Jim Peebles who was the the guy who published the theoretical paper. Yes. He actually won the Nobel Prize. And it was kind of a validation. It was kind of a po posthumous yeah, who had yeah, already yeah. died. Yeah. Peebles won it for all of the other stuff that he did with cosmology later on. He actually showed that, you know, the CMB should look like this with this bumpy, wavy nature when you, when you look at the power spectrum. Wilkinson, who was the other guy who did the um, paper with them, um, the WMAP, um, satellite, which is the Wilkinson anisotropy probe that's, that was sent into space to actually capture the cosmic microwave background in, in excruciating detail. That was named after Wilkinson. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they got their credit in their own right, but one of Dickey's postdocs was Rainer Weiss. Mm -hmm. And one of his biggest influences in terms of physical thinking was Robert Dickey at mm -hmm. Princeton. The